Good morning, we are at uh, Mexico City uh, for Magna Expo Mebula 2019 with uh, Mr. Dennis, he's from VDMA Germany. Good morning, how are you? Hi there, I'm fine, thank you. So tell me your, first I would like to ask your experience for this year, the Magna Show. How it is going so far? Yeah, we are quite happy to be here again. Um, and we have a very good impression of the show. Uh, it's, it's growing fast. All the important players are here. And we hope, we definitely hope for next year that our German pavilion will significantly grow and that we will be able to bring more German companies to the show. Yeah, I, I can see most of the big German companies are exhibiting this time in the German pavilion. But beside Germany, I can also see a few big uh, leaders from uh, Austria and Italy. Can you, can you tell me, do you have any percentage of companies exhibiting here from Europe and also from Mexico? Ooh, I, I don't have the percentage. Um, and I would like to say that the, the large German exhibitors like Omag and Beinig are outside of the German pavilion. There are smaller companies within the German pavilion. But I would say the European companies, Germany, Italy and Austria make up or more than half of the, of the area of the show. Well, in terms of uh, visitors, do you see any big change in terms of numbers and also like international visitors? Well, we are now at the beginning of the second day of the show. It's hard to tell now. Today should be a very good day, I suppose. Yesterday was not that strong. Um, I think the visitors will be here today and tomorrow. Well, uh, but since, you know, this is my second time in this show, but actually when I start, see the show started, the, the design, the, it is very professional this time, like before, two years before I was here, and I, I can definitely see a really positive change, yeah, you know? Right. After, after Deutsche Messe took over the show. So, do you have something to say on that? Yeah, the, the difference to the last show is huge. And now, you can see that all over. And we are expecting a further step for the next show, because then it's clear that this is the, this show here in Mexico. And there will be more exhibitors and larger areas and it will it will do a huge step for, for the next year. Well, if I can ask you, like, uh, in terms of marketing your, your strategy for visitors, I'm not talking about the exhibitors. So, do you really want to see this exhibition in few years are truly international in terms of visitors coming? Yeah, well, international. I mean, what is your target? What is your target the for target the visitors? Yeah, the, the visitors' target would be definitely the whole region entire Central America. I don't know if, if visitors come from the US, I'm not sure about it, I cannot tell, but uh, I guess there will be visitors coming from the South, from the entire Central America region, probably northern South, northern part of South America. Very, it's a regional show. It's not a national, but a regional show, but yeah, you can call it international, but it's it's not a real international show, it's, an, it's a regional show. Yes, well, uh, well. now coming back to Germany, like we have the biggest Udo walking show coming in a few months, Ligna. Yeah. So, what is your expectation for Ligna this year? Oh, our expectations are quite high. Um, we see uh, uh, an increase of several percent concerning the area of the exhibition. We are now sold out in most of the halls, which we didn't expect. Um, yeah, area-wise, it will be one of the best Lignas ever, larger than the shows uh, in the last, last editions. And it will definitely be a very good Ligna. Dennis, thank you so much for your time and thank you so much. You're very welcome.